These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of roar. Hey yo, what's shaking? Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And I want to remind you, all men and women, the earth is spacious. Move around. I know you're looking for something else, but that's really that's really the confession of the day. Move around. The earth is spacious. I hear so much complaining and belly aching and commiserating between men and women online and offline. This one's doing that to that one. Men ain't shit. Women ain't shit. Listen, move around, okay? You need to understand that the Western world is a very small, there's a very small space on this planet. Move around. Y'all act like y'all can't go move away somewhere else. Y'all, what you afraid? You scared or something? What's the problem? How you scared of moving around, but you ain't scared to, to you know, live the miserable life you live in. <laughs> Listen, I feel you, I really do. You have my sympathies, Seely, Miss Seely. You have, you has my sympathies. <laughs> you understand? You haven't put the plan together. You you don't. You haven't made a plan. You'd rather complain. You'd rather get online and complain. <laughs> you know. I I remember um I had this. You know these these neighbors in Harlem, and uh, they always complaining about you know everybody in the building. They're complaining about the landlord this or that or the third. And so I said, well, you know, let's put together a, um, a, 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 a tenants board, you know, a tenants association. I know about this because when I was living downtown in Gramercy Park, this is what all the Caucasian folks did. They didn't play those games. The landlord didn't do what they were supposed to do. They, they performed the LLC, <laughs> got lawyers involved, and they got things done. Okay, this place is downtown. You can't honk the horn on the block. There's a two hundred. There's a sign up. It says two hundred dollar fine for honking the horn. They want their peace in New York. They're not playing. But so I digress. The, my my neighbor in Harlem or my neighbors, they would just complain all the time. Every time I see them in the elevator in the hallway, hey, you know that didn't do that. didn't fix this. That didn't. Okay, let's do this. Let's have meetings every Sunday. I set up these meetings every Sunday. The first two meetings, a bunch of people showed up. You know, after that, people just stopped showing up. Nobody wanted to follow through, but I would still see them complaining in the hallways. Well, you know what? I might be like, I don't want to hear that. Stop complaining. You, what you mean? I tried to, I tried to put together an association for y'all. I'm an organizer. I'm a problem solver. Y'all didn't want to do that, so hush. Shut your mouth. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everybody complaining. I'm leaving. Okay, I'm going to the Bahamas, um, and you can come too. Okay, tap in. Cab Cabernet and Associates are current owners of a whole lot of uh, beachfront, borderfront, and raw land in the Bahamas, in Abaco, Bahamas specifically. Beautiful paradise on earth. The sailing capital of the world. The bone fishing capital. We have plans to build luxury villas and home sites, about 150 of them. Imagine your own community of 150 different homes and a, a beachfront luxury 
lifestyle resort neighboring your home site with the marina and a golf course, etc., etc., etc. Yes, this is what we're doing. Would you like to come along? Would you like to leave behind all of this foolishness, all of this commiserating and miserable uh, misery? Is enough enough? When enough is enough, you let me know. Hit me on the email. KGLifestyle1 at gmail for more info. Do your, do your research. Abaco, A-B-A-C-O, Bahamas. Look at what the going rate is for a quarter acre of raw beachfront. Okay, look at what the going rate is for an acre of beachfront. We're doing quarter acres of raw or developed because we have so much land. So we're selling some of the land. We're building a resort hotel on a few acres and we're gonna also develop a few acres. You could actually live in a community of, of, of paradise of like-minded individuals who, um, are tired of complaining it's not as expensive as you think but then you have to ask yourself how expensive is your misery see at this point in my life right now my peace and my tranquility is priceless you can always come back to visit but the more you can stay put where you are in a state of misery, it's a mental prison because you think you can't leave. You, you go on vacations, but you, you don't have to come back. You don't. Have, you can move. <laughs> Honestly, you make enough money to get out of here. You just. You just don't. You haven't put the plan together. There's no income tax in Abaco, Bahamas. No income tax in the bottom. If you become a citizen, there's no property tax. It's a different ball game. Although they do also use the US dollar, but they also have the first digital currency as well. The first country with its own digital currency. It's one of the most beautiful places on this planet. Previous, they only known outside of Abaco uh, to the um, the rich and the and the wealthy, but we're gonna change that. When you're ready, you let me know, and I'll see you in the islands of Abaco. Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, reminding you to stop complaining. And these are. Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of...